Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing today, going to discuss complex number. And this is very, very important and new topic for the students of class 11th because they haven't heard about the complex number, they have still uh, learned about the real number. But today we are going to discuss about the complex number. So, what is complex number and what we need to discuss in this topic, what we need to learn about this topic. So, let me discuss in brief. Complex number. Complex number is the, you can say, the grandfather of all numbers. Uh, grandfathers in the sense that complex number has two types of number. One is a real number and another is an imaginary number. We have uh, learned about the real number, uh, rational, irrational and all different type of uh, numbers like uh, natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, irrational numbers and uh, even number, odd number, prime number, composite number like so many type of varieties of numbers but uh, we haven't heard about the imaginary number. So first let me discuss about what is an imaginary number and why number is said to be an imaginary. For example, let us uh, discuss the square root of a number because topic we are going to discuss today that is complex number numbers a number z in form of a plus iota b is called complex number complex number right a plus iota b where a and b are real number a and b are a real number number and iota h an imaginary number imaginary number iota is an imaginary number what is this imaginary number so first i am going to discuss about what is an imaginary number so imaginary number is what then we will discuss about the remaining thing. What is an imaginary number? Imaginary number. Right now. So imaginary number. Suppose someone has to find a square root of 4. Then he can write plus minus 2. Because uh, 2 multiplied by 2 is also equal to 4. A square root of 4 suppose. Then x is equal to plus minus 2. Because 2 multiplied by 2 is also 4, minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 is also 4. But suppose someone has to find out the square root of minus 4, then it cannot be a positive number. It cannot be a negative number as well. Because positive number multiplied by positive number will give positive number, isn't it? And negative number multiplied by negative number will also give a positive number. There is no number which multiply itself give negative numbers. So there is no real solution. So no real solution say there. No real existence solution. You know. No real solutions. We have heard in class 10 that when in a square root that is d is less than 0. Then there is no real root. Now in this class we will introduce another concept and what is that concept that iota is an imaginary number and iota stand for under root of minus 1. So if someone want to write under root of minus 4 then he can write 4 into under root of 4 into under root of minus 1. Under root of 4 is plus minus 2 and under root of minus 1 is iota. So square root of minus 4 is called plus minus 2 iota. Similarly, a square root of minus 9 will be plus minus 3 iota and a square root of minus 25 is plus minus 5 iota and so on, etc. So, what is this iota indeed? Iota stands for imagination. They assume that there would be a number, maybe imagination. There is no real existence that we have learned here, that there is no existence of such number. There is no existence, but we can imagine that there would be a number, there can be a number, just in imagination, that multiply by itself give equal to minus 1. So, iota 
is an imaginary number this iota is considered to be an imaginary number such that iota multiply by iota itself is equal to minus 1 that is iota square is equal to minus 1 so this is what they have given it is an imagination of someone's mind it has no existence but that uh, imagination solve many problems and what the kind of problems that iota square is minus 1 and if I assume like this, then we can write the square root of minus 4 is plus minus 2 iota, a square root of minus 9 is plus minus 3 iota, a square root of under root 25 minus 25 is plus minus 5 iota and like that. So, a square root of numbers, numbers will be there, that will be plus minus, what a square root of that will be plus minus uh, iota plus minus iota square is equal to plus iota square is equal to minus 1 and uh, that is what we can got it iota square is minus 1 now what about iota cube so what about iota cube iota cube can be written as iota square into iota and iota square is minus 1 into iota so that would be minus iota Similarly, if someone want to write iota to the power 4, then that can be written as iota square whole square. So, that is minus square whole square which is 1. So, we will remember iota 4 is equal to 1. But just a concept, this is just a concept because iota 4 is an imaginary number and the value of that is a real number. But we will use it iota 4 is equal to 1, iota square is equal to minus 1 that you need to remember it that iota square is minus 1 and we have to use this isn't it so iota square is minus 1 and iota 4 is equal to 1 you will also remember that iota q is minus iota but uh, all these things are there and uh, if any number which uh, is uh, which has iota as one of the factor or coefficient then it must be considered as an imaginary number so any number in form of iota is considered to be imaginary number iota stand for number belong to an imaginary family so a real number if I, iota is an imaginary iota is an imaginary number imaginary number right and 3 is an real number, a real number. So, if we multiply 3 into iota, that will be an imaginary number. So, multiplication of any an real number with an imaginary number will be an imaginary number. Right? Now. Multiplication of any real number with an imaginary number is an imaginary number. We can say multiplication of application of a real number of any real number any real number with an imaginary number imaginary number is a is a an imaginary number imaginary number so uh, iota is I can uh, write here, I have written already uh, that iota is an imaginary number and b is a real number. But whatever iota b, iota b is an imaginary number. Iota b is an imaginary number. So, complex number has two parts. Complex number has two parts. We can write here. Complex number z is equal to a plus iota b and it has two parts. One is called this is called imaginary part imaginary part and this one is called a real part a real part so complex number in the name is complex given it is not indeed a complex thing but name is given complex because it is a mixing of two type of numbers real and imaginary if uh, a is equal to 0 then z is equal to iota b is called purely imaginary number purely imaginary number right now 
and if b is equal to 0 in this case if b is equal to 0 then z is equal to a is called purely real number is purely real a real number isn't it so we can write like this and uh, we can understand like this as well so there is no problem i think so i hope you got it so complex number is complex because it is a mixture of two type of thing one is real and another is an imaginary part now the question comes in your mind if it is an imaginary number then why we should uh, study this uh, there is a lot of impact uh, in engineering and mechanics of this complex number so there is a big theory in, as in form of complex variable in higher classes here just introduction with you and uh, you will be able to understand that why uh, and how we will understand in higher classes uh, how and why we will study in higher classes but till now uh, we have learned that wherever there is an iota it is an imaginary number and uh, iota square is minus 1 and uh, iota q is minus iota and iota to the power 4 is equal to 1 one uh, corollary is any four consecutive powers 1 plus iota plus iota square plus iota q is equal to 0 why it so because 1 plus iota iota square is minus 1 and iota q is minus iota we have learned it so this this and this this cancel so it will be 0 not only this but any consecutive four powers say 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 that will be also 0 even iota to the power 10 iota to the power 11 iota to the power 12 and iota to the power 13 will be also 0 so any four consecutive powers will have some 0 why it is so because iota to the power 7 can be calculated like you may calculate it iota to the power 4 is 1 iota to the power 5 iota to the power 4 is 1 and or even if I can take iota to the power 4 common in that so what will happen 1 plus iota plus iota square plus iota q and all these equal to 0 so iota to the power 4 into 0 is equal to 0 so or iota to the power 4 is nothing else but 1 so 1 into 0 is 0 similarly uh, we can take here also iota to the power 10 if i take common 1 plus iota plus iota square plus iota q and this is equal to 0 wherever that is equal to minus 1 into 0 is 0 so anywhere how i have calculated here iota to the power 10 let me explain iota to the power n is nothing else but iota to the power 4 into whole square 4 to the 8 into iota square and this is 1 to the power 2 into minus 1 and that is minus 1 or even one can write iota square to the power 5 that iota square is minus 1 minus 1 to the power 5 is minus iota so all these operational things can be done with iota and uh, it will be either minus 1 or iota or minus iota there is nothing else right whatever the power would be but if iota to the power 4 n for any integer it will be always 1 iota to the power 4n is always 1 for n is any integer any natural number right so this is what we can understand now addition of two rational num uh, complex number addition addition of two complex number complex number right what will be there suppose if uh, x z1 is equal to z1 is any complex number a plus iota b and z2 b any complex number c plus iota d then z1 plus z2 is equal to a plus iota b plus c plus iota d a real number can be added with real only so a plus d into iota b plus d iota can be written either side so addition can be taken uh, can be possible if and only if real can be added with real and an imaginary can be added with an imaginary 
real and imaginary cannot be added together just plus sign can be given in between but they cannot be added similarly if suppose someone has to subtract these two then a plus iota b minus c plus iota d in that case also uh, real can be subtracted from real and imaginary can be subtracted from imaginary only but whenever you have to multiply then what will happen if you multiply this z1 into z this is the subtraction subtraction right now multiplication of two complex numbers so let me write here multiplication of multiplication of two complex numbers two complex numbers what is that so z1 into z2 is equal to what a plus iota b into c plus iota d and if i multiply a multiply by c plus iota d plus iota b multiply by c plus iota d right so we can write it like a multiply by c is a c plus iota a d plus iota b c plus iota into iota iota square b d but we know iota square is minus 1 so we can write it a d plus iota in these two there is an iota common a d plus b c minus b d and then what will come a c plus b d that is a real part and imaginary part is a d plus b c so this is an imaginary part so z1 z2 is this z1 z2 is this so, so that you need to understand i hope you got it that how to multiply two complex number wherever there is an iota will come we will write that is equal to minus one nothing else and rest of the multiplication will be same an imaginary number and real number can be multiplied together and the output will be the result will be always an imaginary number that we have already discussed so uh, this is a product of two complex number and uh, further it can be written as real part of z1 z2 we can write real part of z1 z2 is a c plus b d and imaginary part can be written as i m of z1 z2 is equal to a d plus b c real part and imaginary part this stand for real uh, we will use it further and this stand for imaginary short form of real and imaginary real we will use re and imaginary we will use im now there is a term uh, let me discuss the first exercise first then we will go for some terms as well uh, just to introductory uh, the first exercise uh, in your book uh, which is quite easier but still uh, learners because this is a new topic and everybody uh, has to understand from the basics so therefore a very simple topic is given in the beginning just to be familiar with the complex numbers uh, exercise 5.1 express each of the following question is given express each of the following in form of a plus iota b this is what now we have question. so the very first question is um, 5 iota into minus 3 by 5 iota so we can multiply because this is the multiplication of two image purely imaginary number so we will write here 5 iota plus minus minus into 3 iota by 5 so 5 5 cancel iota into iota each iota square and iota square you know minus 1 so minus 1 multiply by minus 3 and what is that 3. now the second question is given that iota to the power 9 plus iota to the power 19 what will be the value so iota to the power 9 can be written as iota to the power 4 whole square that is 8 into iota and iota to the power 19 can be written as iota to the power 4 into 4 16 plus into iota cube 
you know iota to the power 4 is 1 so 1 square is 1 so what is left here iota this is also 1 1 to the power 4 is 1 and iota q is minus iota so iota minus iota is 0 so these are the two question and now third question i am going to take on here is iota to the power 39 what will happen and how we deal with this situation so iota to the power 39 is nothing else but we can write iota to the power 4 and 4 9 is 36 and iota q iota to the power 4 is 1 so 1 to the power 9 is 1 and iota q is minus iota so we will write here 1 into minus iota and that is minus iota so output is minus iota i hope you got it okay now question number four is there and fourth question is what is that fourth question is there and fourth question is 3 into 7 plus 7 iota 7 plus 7 iota plus 7 plus 7 iota iota 7 or 7 iota is the same thing so we will multiply simply 3 into 7 21 plus 7 iota plus 7 plus 7 iota 7 and 21 are real numbers so they can be added 21 plus 7 is 28 7 iota plus 7 iota is 14 iota and that is in form of a plus iota b also this can be written as in form of iota b that is 3 can be written as 3 plus 0 iota 0 plus 0 iota and that can be written as 0 minus iota I minus iota can be written as 0 minus iota even you will write it like this so real part is 0 and imaginary part is h because we have to write in form of a plus iota b now the question number 5 and 5 is what let us see the question number 5 is there and 5 question is 1 minus iota minus minus 1 plus 6 iota what is that that can be simplified as 1 minus iota minus minus plus 1 and plus minus minus 6 iota so 1 plus 1 become 2 and minus 6 iota minus iota become 7 iota this is in form of a plus iota b now sixth question is there 1 by 5 plus 2 by 5 iota right minus 4 plus 5 by 2 iota like this again this question is also very much similar to this and we need to uh, write here that uh, 1 by 5 minus 4 these are the real numbers plus 2 by 5 iota minus 5 by 2 iota because plus minus minus so these are two imaginary numbers now 5 4 are 20 1 minus 20 minus 19 by 5 plus 2 2 are 4 and 5 5 are 25 so 4 minus 25 is minus 21 and minus 21 iota so that will be minus 21 by 10 lcm is 10 iota that is in form of a plus iota b now we have question number 7 and 7 is 1 by 3 plus 7 by 3 iota like this plus 4 plus iota into 1 by 3 like this minus 4 by 3 minus 4 by 3 plus iota like this so that can be written as 1 by 3 plus 7 by 3 iota plus 4 plus 1 by 3 iota iota 1 by 3 or 1 by 3 iota is the same thing minus minus plus 4 by 3 minus iota now we can separate them uh, real together 4 1 by 3 plus 4 plus 4 by 3 right plus iota can be taken common 7 by 3 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 so that will be 4 by 3 plus 1 by 3 is 5 by 3 and 5 by 3 plus 4 um, 4 3 is 12 plus 5 17 by 3 right now plus iota into 7 by 3 plus 1 by 3 is 8 by 3 8 by 3 minus 1 is 5 by 3 so 5 by 3 iota so answer is 17 by 3 plus 5 by 3 iota 
Now question number 8 is 1 minus iota whole to the power 4. That can be written as 1 minus iota whole square to the power whole square. 1 minus iota whole square can be written as 1 plus iota square minus 2 iota whole to the whole square. 1 iota square is minus 1 minus 2 iota whole square can be written like this. So that will be 1 1 cancel and minus 2 iota whole square is equal to what? 4 iota square. Isn't it? So that will be 4 iota square and iota square is minus 1. So the answer is minus 4. So like that we can conclude it. Okay. We can solve it, simplify it and represent in form of minus 4 that is 0 4 plus 0 iota. You can write it. There is nothing a big deal. Now there is question number 9 and question number 9 is nothing else but 1 by 3 plus 3 iota to the power whole cube. That is a plus b whole cube. We can use it a cube plus 3 a square into b plus 3 a b square. Isn't it? 3 a b square that is 3 iota whole square plus b cube. 3 iota whole cube. We can write it like this. So 1 by 3 q is nothing else but 1 by 27 and this is plus 3 into 3 9 and 1 by 3 square is 9. So what is left here? Here is only iota left because 1 by 9 and 1 by 9 will be cancelled. Let me write step by step. So this is 3 into 1 by 9 into 3 iota. So 3 into 3 9 9 cancel. Only iota will be left here 3 into 1 by 3 into 9 iota square plus 27 iota cube. So that will be 1 by 27 and here what is left only iota because 3 3 is a 9 and this 3 3 cancels this 3 3 cancels and iota square is minus 1 so that will be minus 9 and this will be minus 27 iota because iota cube is minus iota and iota square is minus 1 what we have used here. Now real can be uh, write, written together and imaginary can be written together iota minus 27 iota. So we can have again the same thing that 27 into 9 so 9 7 is 63 and 9 2 is 18 and 6 24 so 243 1 minus 243 is minus 242 upon 27 minus 26 iota and that will be the answer of this question. Now uh, we have question number 10 that is minus 2 minus 1 by 3 iota whole to the power 3 again the same thing. So we can write here same process minus 2 by 3 plus 3 into a square into b right plus 3 a b square minus 1 by 3 iota whole square and plus b cube isn't it so plus b cube plus 1 by minus 1 by 3 whole cube now this will be minus 8 plus 2 square is 4 4 3 is 12 minus 12 by 3 3 3 cancel can be 3 and this 3 cancels 4 minus 4 iota so what will be that? So two minus two square h uh, four four into minus iota is minus four iota. That will be minus four iota. Minus four iota, isn't it? And that will be three square h nine. So that will be uh, minus minus six into one by nine iota square. And iota square is minus 1, so it will be plus 1 and 3 to just 6 and 3 3 just 9. So we will write here uh, that will be minus 1 by 27 iota cube. So that will be uh, minus 8 minus iota square is minus 1, so minus minus plus. So plus 2 by 3 and uh, minus 4 iota and uh, then what will happen? Let me write here uh, minus 8 plus 2 by 3 uh, right here minus 8 and this is 
minus 2 by 3 minus minus plus 2 by 3 plus uh, minus 4 iota minus 4 iota and iota square is minus iota so minus minus plus 1 by 27 iota so 8 3 is 24 minus 24 plus 2 is minus 22 by 3 and 24 uh, 27 4 is minus 108 and plus 1 so minus 107 iota divided by 27 that will be the answer of this question so that will be also in form of a plus iota b so you have seen that simplification is uh, very easy and we can simplify them the real can be added with real and imaginary can be added with imaginary and similarly subtraction will also take place so this is the basic introduction of uh, this uh, topic that is a complex number uh, we will discuss some more concepts and questions in next uh, after the break so till then you take some rest and revise this topic or we will see you in the after the break that is in the next lecture okay thank you